what is up third video you know what it is hit me up with that like and subscribe button help me get started i'm on my third video now and i'm just getting started third video ever doing anything it's your boy i ape like a beast and uh yep let's get it no idea what this is going to be about i got 17 minutes on the clock before maintenance you know what it is but check me out i got some info maybe you know maybe you don't so uh check me out here it goes all right a little bit of mixed info here so in the middle of this there's gonna be a rant about seeker mines but i was thinking about doing a rant about seeker mines because i'm old school and I was about that seeker mind life but anyways uh, check me out so this is how I'm gonna start this seeker mind rant it's not gonna be about seeker minds <laughs> it's how I'm gonna start the secret mind rant now I'm gonna flip it on you middle middle of the video and start ranting about seeker minds so here's what I'm thinking so when you go to your SHD level you get this scavenging right here right lots of people they don't have like materials and stuff like that so you can go here and get um materials you can buy this is so useful like i would have not been able to craft the stuff that i crafted w without this resource here now here's the thing i actually did not know this but if you get another character to level 40 obviously he gets all your your watch levels but when you go to here he doesn't share this he gets his own so um this one's really low really if i didn't use any i'd probably have like 250 300 of these things which is just like so many freaking materials it's like lots of materials now basically what i'm saying is um making another character might not be for you but if you're ever finding yourself searching for materials like if you're spending an hour once in a while collecting materials sometimes i wouldn't do that i would work on another character for the scavenging materials because once you get him to 40 you're going to get his watched unlocked and i don't even know some of you are different shade levels so some of you are going to be getting different perks if you're around the level i am you're going to be getting you know i don't even know how many that is because i've spent so many you're going to get like 250 300 of these or whatever it is i'm only level thousand though if the higher level you are it's like the more incentive and the more rewards you're gonna get from actually leveling a character so if you're like 2500 3000 4000 by now and you don't have multiple characters you will basically get an insane amount of resources from doing this um and that is per character so that is definitely a very good idea. Now, as I promised, the Seeker Mine rant in relation to this, eh, it doesn't necessarily have to be Seeker Mine. So I played before New York. I played like level 30 material. So I had like level 30 gear and whatnot and blueprints and whatnot. So the thing is, is, um, oh, actually, as well right before I dip into that um, you also have a uh, I don't know where it's at but you get like a level 30 boost or something like that you can take like one character to level 30 instantly I don't know where that's at though um, maybe store yeah, I think it's in store somewhere. Like, I actually didn't even use mine either. 
but you can scroll around in here and I'm pretty sure it will tell you that you, you can get a character boost to um to level to level 30 or something like that and uh oh here it is right here level 30 boost so that's gonna be um store add-ons level 30 um so you can actually boost one of these characters up to 30 then you only have to get 30 to 40 now here's the thing your characters can share um share stuff through your chest you can just put in your chest and etc or whatever so here's the thing oh it even shares like plans and whatnot materials etc so this level 30 boost right you can craft skill gear okay for 30 to 40 because even 30 to 40 going through new york it can take a while like i i did it with one character where i just my first character i walked through it man it took me a while maybe it was because it was my first time going through there but i tried to do it with guns etc it kind of took me like hours to do it it wasn't very efficient um now on my second character what i did was i crafted hardwire gear um hardwire is super useful I'm just talking about crafting level 30 hardwired gear. The thing about skill builds is this can be level 40 or this can be level 1. It doesn't matter. It's basically going to do the same amount of damage because you're just getting that, that skill tier to get the damage. You know what I'm saying? So essentially a level 30 and a level 40 skill gear stuff is the same. So even if you don't want to run like a seeker build if you just want to run your favorite uh skill build it's going to help you power level yourself through the 30 to 40 content or whichever however you're rushing yourself um i even had a point where i was rushing myself with seekers because um i'm really in love with like quick seekers i like that they kill all them ads that are hiding and cover i can just drop this boom there goes 20 seekers at like you know two to four million each whatever they're hitting for and i can just continuously you know drop them um but oh yeah i had a point where um I had friends level 40 they were coming in to kind of help me and hang out and my seekers are literally just stealing all their kills because they just go out and hunt and I've always been a big fan of seekers and I love them and I thought I would kind of come back and represent them a little bit I know that um you know big turrets and big drones <laughs> have taken over the lobbies but um you know i even run this in legendary sometimes and uh to be honest there's a lot of back and forth going on the um the the score screen at the end a lot of times these seekers are still taking that number one spot just because they're going out hunting and seeking and you know putting in work uh sometimes the turrets do win um i see it go both ways i'm not saying it's better i'm not saying it's worse i'm just saying they are really good and uh they're really easy to throw together as well like i said you can craft them and you can i mean a lot of people think hardwire is junk you can just throw a build together and and do it um i'm i used to run healer hive with this Healer Hive is really good with this as well because you can, uh, I mean, it's already got skill repair. You, always got, uh, you already got all them skill tiers. And then the yellow spots you can also put in, uh, the yellow mod slots you can put in uh, repair. Um, I'm, real, I'm big on damage though as well. So I like Stinger Hive. I also like in Legendaries, like throwing that Stinger Hive into the spawn trap. You know, I almost forgot one of my big parts uh, about this video.
actually a really important part. I hope you're still tuning in. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, mentioning those characters that you're rushing. So check this out. In the new patch, okay, there's going to be um, a change that I heard about. They're taking mod slots and they're turning them generic. Like this mod slot on this uh, hardwire mask, you're going to be able to put anything in there again. So that yellow mod slot, you're going to be able to put something like crit hit damage into it again. Now, I played this for a while, and I never even knew there was a perfect intimidate chest. Okay? Now, I see people running intimidate all the time. Um... Yeah, this thing is pretty beast. Um, I looked at how min-max builds would go. I think it can still fit in. Uh, you can check it out. Um, I think there's still a spot for it. Um, that extra five's multiplicated multi over over what you would be filling in. So, um, if not though, uh, yeah, the main point is here is that mod slot. It's going to be universal now you're going to be able to put like crit hit damage in here um i have four of these now from my four characters that i got from doing the hunters so um these are really useful too as well you know too with like golan you get that second piece armor regen so like you see how this one has armor regen i could roll that explosive resistance to like crit hit damage and then the utility mod slot I can just put crit hit damage in there the next patch so I would go ahead and farm these ahead of time um, you could get like a really sick roll um, I didn't get one I was looking for one that already had crit hit damage so I could put weapon damage on it that way you could get like a 15 weapon uh, max crit and then max crit mod slot with you know armor regen and then oh man if you have that very nice um yeah but either way i would do some kind of mix with that stuff rush four characters get those materials get armor etc um yep that's your boy ape like and subscribe hook me up with them subscribes i'm going to be putting out more content i got five minutes on the clock and i am